Good evening, YouTube. Good evening. Or good morning, good afternoon, or good night. Whenever you're watching this, hello. Good to see you. It's Run Rabbit Run 100 week. I'm going to do something totally different from what I usually do on the daily vlog, the daily story here on the YouTube. I'm just going to talk to you. Just going to talk to you. Maybe throw a little B-roll on top of it, but mostly just talk to you straight up for five to seven minutes about Run Rabbit Run 100. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Welcome. Glad you're here. Thanks for subscribing. Basically, I'm a runner, big runner. I love running. Been running since, well, maybe seventh grade, middle school, you know, 20 years ago, 20 plus years ago. And I don't do 10Ks now. I don't do half marathons. I do them every now and then, but I mostly do long distance running, meaning long distance. <laughs> this Friday, I'm running a hundred mile race, like a foot race, not on a bike, not on a motorcycle, not, on, not in a Jeep, on, a, on my feet my little feet just doop, doop, over the ground for 100 miles through the Rocky Mountains, 20,000 feet of vertical. It's called Run Rabbit Run. I actually don't even know, but I believe it's called Run Rabbit Run because there's this, this uh, mountain pass that you have to drive over in order to get down into Steamboat Springs where the race starts. And there's some rock formations on top of the pass that look like rabbit ears. So I think that's why it's called Run Rabbit Run. I should look that up, I should figure that out. But um, it's an interesting race. It's a it's it's um, plowing new ground in the ultra running world, in different ways. Uh, but the probably one of the most significant ways is the prize money. Holy guacamole! They're not afraid to dish out some money to the hard work of the runners. Lots of money. In fact more money than any other race in the entire world. It's crazy, it's crazy, but we're grateful for to the race directors, us runners out there um, who are competing and vying for, you know, top spots, whether it's men or women. And it's nice to get a little financial recognition in the running world and in the ultra running world, because all these runners, whether you're finishing, you know, at 32 hours or whether you're finishing at 18 hours, like every single one of us is going to have put in blood, sweat, and tears, you better believe it, for, you know, years and years of training leading up to this race. So we're grateful. In addition, for the first time ever that I know of, and definitely the first time for this race, they are launching the Rabbit Cup. The Rabbit Cup. What is that? It's a team competition in an ultra race. How cool is that? It's like cross country all over again. What does it, what comprises a team? Basically, you have three people on a team and the top male and top female combined times from the 100 mile distance will, though whoever has the, the lowest time, the least amount of time, that team with the three people will win a lot of money. I think it's 50,000, 50,000 G's. Now I'm not on a team this year, maybe down the road, but once again, Run Rabbit Run is pushing the limits of ultra running through this new twist in the team competition in this race. And it's the first time ever in this, anyway, I digress. All I'm saying is it's exciting to be a part of an event that is pushing the limits in many different ways. So my family and I, you'll see it here on the YouTube, we'll drive up on Thursday and rest Thursday night, um, 8 a.m. So there's two divisions in this race, the tortoise division and the hare division. The tortoise division, as you can imagine, are people that are just kind of, you know, they're not going out for, you know, lightning bolt speed. They're just going out to finish and do it. And it's amazing. Now they start at 8 a.m. on Friday morning. My division, my race starts at noon on Friday. And from what I've heard, there might be tracking, uh, live tracking on the website. And I believe, let me check, it's right here. That's the website. And I believe they're gonna try and have live tracking on the athletes. In addition, if you're on Twitter, you, that's a good spot. I'm guessing the hashtag is gonna be hashtag RRR100. That's just my guess. I don't know that. So if you're looking for live updates from people out on the course or race directors or what have you, go to Twitter. As far as uh, I'm concerned, basically I'm gonna pack all my stuff tomorrow, Tuesday, and then just, I'm in full, full taper mode. It feels great. The legs feel recovered, very recovered. Um, I don't feel overtrained. I don't, I might feel even slightly undertrained. I've mentioned that on Strava. I don't know, I just, I put in a good summer, but I haven't been hitting 100 mile weeks, not even close. Uh, but I have been, as you know, running with the vest, and I do believe I have put on some good strength 
especially in the last six weeks of training because of that vest and hitting the weight room. Um, I'm not going to talk about my full strategy for the race right now. I'll do that probably Thursday, so I'll publish it Thursday night, Friday morning before the race. And then, of course, I will not be publishing Friday, Saturday, and we'll see if I'm alive on Sunday. Yeah. The bottom line is we're excited. We're grateful for this training block. I'm grateful for the mountains and having been able to get up there a decent amount this year. And um, again, I know this is a unusual daily story for this channel. I'm just talking, I never do this, but I just wanna get it all on the table for the week because the week is gonna go quick and Friday afternoon at noon is gonna come quick. So I just wanted to get all this information in front of you and uh, I hope you can follow along, you know, whether it's on Strava or Twitter or on their website. I don't know how you're going to follow along, but it's just going to be fun. And I'm excited to bring you along the journey. You know I will. You know I will. Um, I think that's it. I think that's it. What am I missing? Hmm. Run. Oh, yeah. I went up there two weeks ago, so that was good to preview parts of the course. I feel really good about doing that. And, uh, you know, I don't know the course perfectly, but supposedly it's going to be well marked. That's the goal. And the goal for me is just to latch on to a couple people and just tuck in for 50 miles. <laughs> it sounds kind of crazy to say that. All right, folks, that's it. Good night. Au revoir. We will see you tomorrow.